As a native Russian speaker, I decided to go over Russian lessons in Duolingo. I started using this app over a year ago, almost 500 days ago, and I first heard about it actually from my boyfriend who started learning Russian, and that's how he surprised me. <laughs> this is when I got into it, and I recently went over some of the lessons in Russian language in Duolingo just to check it out and see what it's all about. And I wanted to share some of the insights and hopefully provide some of the feedback and maybe some of the tips that Duolingo doesn't. And some of you who are studying Russian through Duolingo, hopefully you'll find this helpful and let me know in the comments if you do. So let's just get back to a unit one. And my cat is all over my keyboard. Say hi to everybody. So let's do a quick review. So as you can probably tell, even if you don't know how to pronounce actor in Russian, which is aktor, just by looking at these three examples, you can probably kind of tell <laughs> which word is it. And this is to the point that some of the words sound very similar in Russian as they do in English. Aktor. Maria. In Russian language, we don't use the part am or is necessarily when we introduce each other, and you probably can hear my cat purring right now. But when we introduce ourselves, Ya Maria, or for example, Ya Yana, Ya Maria is uh, the right form to do that, and also Maria is a full version of the name. And if you would be introducing yourself among your peers, that would be Ya Masha, which is a shorter version of name Maria. Teacher. Teacher is учитель. Учитель. My favorite exercise in Duolingo in all the languages that I'm studying is match madness. So let's just match them very quick. Actor is актёр. Doctor is doctor. Teacher is учитель. And is e very similar to Spanish. And engineer is engineer. As I mentioned before, many of the words phonetically sounds very similar. Actor, actor, doctor, doctor, engineer, engineer. Thank you. It's спасибо. Probably one of the most common things I hear from people who know a little bit of Russian. When I first meet them, they love sharing with me stuff like привет, which is hi, or спасибо, which is thank you. And it's super nice and super sweet and definitely nice to learn. So thank you for watching. Спасибо за просмотр. Just visually looking at these two words, and if you're not familiar with the Russian alphabet, they look very similar and probably a little bit scary and intimidating as letters, but Z and Sh sounds are very close, and this is something that I learned in the elementary school. Practice the difference in pronunciation, for example, Z, Sh, like in this case, Zhal and Shal, or H, K, but we'll get to it later, I'm sure. I meant to say Jal, but there you go. I knew it was Jal. I promise you I knew. <laughs> so actually, I remember something that my boyfriend was struggling with because how it sounds, Oneana. It's, especially when you start learning language, it's so hard to hear where the first word and and another begins, especially if they have and in between them. So this one is a tricky one, but on, Iana, meaning he, and she phonetically sounds very similar and with only one word in the end being a difference. On, he, ana, she. On, ana. On, i, ana. On, i, ana. Mama is this. Mama. This. That means mom is here. Mama is this. But just like in the example of an introduction, I am Maria versus Ya Maria. <laughs> There is no M or S in Russian version of the introductions or statements like Mama's here. In Russian, it would be Mom here. Mama is this. And my favorite match madness again. Engineer, engineer. Actor, actor. Teacher, учитель. Doctor, doctor. And E. Привет, Nina. And probably one of the most similar structurally based sentence. Hi, Nina. Привет, Nina. If you know very common Russian word, привет, you're going to be fine. Привет, Nina. Привет, Maria. Привет, Yana. Привет, я Виктор. 
and привет, just like hi or hello, means exactly the same thing. Привет, привет, я Виктор, is the translation of hi, I'm Victor, or hello, I'm a Victor. And just for your information, Victor is also a full version of the name, and the short version would be Vitya, just like Maria is Masha, Victor is Vitya. Дима – это Марк. Дима – это Марк, meaning Дима – this is Марк. Just as we are already getting more introduced to the idea that is, am, is not something that's used in Russian language, so it is in the simpler forms. Я – Мария, это Марк, мама здесь, мама's here, this is Марк, I am Мария. And Дима – это Марк, Дима – this is Марк, and just for your information, Марк is not common <laughs> Russian name. <laughs> And Dima is actually a short version of uh, name Dmitri. So that's actually surprising to see. I usually see full versions, but Dima is Dmitri. Chin. Chin Chan. Yeah, to me, this is more of the practice of the parts of the whole word because Chan and Chin are not the separate words on its own. So Chin is what I hear. And back to our favorite, my favorite. Match madness, and we know teachers is учитель. Mal. Mal, mol are also very phonetically similar to one another, so I'm glad that Duolingo does a very good job in introducing and training the ear to hear the difference, but mal, mol, I hear mal. Yep, and this is a previous mistake that they say in jal, and I chose shal, <laughs> explaining the difference in the letter Z and Sh. However, Jal and Shal are actually two different words and not just sounds as a part of entire words. So Jal means sorry, not as in apologizing form, but more of like, oh, what a pity. And Shal is shawl, essentially, like scarfy thing that goes on your shoulder and your neck. So there you go. Jal, pity, Shal, shawl. And here we are. Right, done with the lesson number one in unit one. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this useful.